Hey guys, so the names on the right and left of your screen right now are the names of the incredible individuals who support me on Patreon and make videos like the one you are about to watch possible. So thank you so much to all of you for your incredible continued support. Also want to mention that my Masters and Grandmasters tiers on Patreon have now been unlocked and are available for you. My Masters tier is one-on-one -on -one personal mentorship. So in one hour long weekly sessions, I will sit down with you, set goals for you, and help you work towards them and cross them off. You can pick my brain on anything from building backing tracks to how to build a band, to how to get signed. We can cover anything that I know from both the touring side of the music industry, the recording side of the music industry, and then of course, being a professional content creator, I can break down what it looks like, how to get sort of out of the early days of the process, and how to really start to blow up your channel and push yourself forward as a content creator. The second tier is Grand Masters. Grand Masters tier is similar to Masters, however, it's a little bit more focused towards the uh, instructional drumming lesson side of things. So if you want private one-on-one -on -one drum lessons with me, you can sign up for that and in half an hour sessions every week I will sit down with you and teach you all of the things that you want to know to get better as a player. We'll set goals together and cross them off together as you go forward into your drumming career. So with all that being said I really really hope you enjoy this video. Hello and welcome to What The Fill episode 5. So today here in episode 5 we're going to be talking about fraction fills once again. That being said, if you are unfamiliar with the concept, in episode 2 I covered the basics of fraction fills. I suggest you go back to episode 2, maybe check out that lesson, get familiar with it, and then jump back into this one. In episode 2 I performed the concepts in sixteenths in a very straight pattern. Today we're going to be performing fraction fills. We're going to be performing two different fraction fills that are very similar to one another but a slight variation on itself. And those two are both going to be inside of a tuplet grouping, so a triplet, so groups of three. Now, last thing I'll say before we get on with this lesson is that this video is broken into two parts. The difference between the two sections is just going to be in the first half, we're going to be doing one, two, three, four on the hands, and then one, two on the feet. In the second half, we're going to be doing uh, one, two on the hands, and then four on the feet, using either a slide or a scuff technique to perform the, the group of four on our feet at a higher tempo. So it's geared a little bit more towards advanced players. Part two, timestamp is on the screen for you right now. If you consider your a more advanced player and would like to skip ahead to that section, feel free to do so now. Let's get on with the lesson. So, we're going to be focusing on two concepts. The first is going to be, of course, as I already mentioned, triplet fraction fills. The second is going to be the verse from Bow Down. We're not going to be performing the entire first verse, it's just going to be the second half of the first verse from that cover, from that song. The reason why I chose that section is simply because the section itself ends with a triplet fraction fill. And I'm going to use that fraction fill to teach the concept to you, and then in the second half of the video, I'm going to mix it up a little bit to make it more difficult for you. You did see me perform that verse that I'm talking about in the intro of this song. That's essentially what I'm going to be getting you up to. And then in the second half, I'm going to mix it up a little bit as sort of like an exercise to challenge you more and get uh, get some footwork in uh, in this lesson as well. So with all that being said, the very first thing I want to talk about is simply playing triplet fraction fills, what it looks like. And uh, I'm going to do that by taking you to my electric kit and teaching you the sticking. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing here in this episode is on the screen for you right now. That's the first exercise. Essentially, that is the fraction fill at the end of verse one from the song Bow Down by I Prevail. Now, let's unpack this. So essentially, the concept is groups of six, right? And you can see that there. So if you add up the grouping, you kind of get four on the hands, two on the feet, four plus two equals six. And you are playing those, uh, those six notes together, four over two, four over two, four over two, three times to create the duration of the fill. So what that's gonna look like is the first half of each grouping uh, is going to be a triple lit, so one, two, three. And then the second half will be triplet again. So, it, But uh, what we're going to do is because of the sticking, it's going to land on the triplet, the tra of the triplet, the triple lit. The trip is going to be on the left hand. And then two on the feet. Oh lit. So triple lit. Triple lit. You play that without the stop and start and you're going to get and then you just move that around the kit. You just repeat that. It's super simple. We're just going to go one, two, three, four. So triple lit, triple lit here. And then triple lit, triple lit here. And triple lit, triple lit there. And that's it. Now, after that, it goes back to straight. So the fill looks like this. Now it's going to go back to straight for those last, uh, for those last couple notes. So if I was to put this into like a straight groove.
Now there's no click there, but you can kind of feel how it, it starts straight and then it goes triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, and then uh, one E and a uh, blah and then it comes uh, comes down on that flam for the last part. So that's going to be the first exercise. Super simple. I'm just going to play that four times in a row. So we're going to start at 65 and then go up 95, 125, and 155, which is the tempo of bow down. So, uh, so here is that performed for you now for you to play a long two. Here we go. Okay, so now you've got the ending of that section of verse one of bow down. You've got the fill down. Now I want you to learn the entire groove, be able to play the groove, and then end off with that fraction fill. To sort of play it in time with a click and play it with coming out of a groove, of course. I won't be individually demonstrating the sticking for the actual verse itself. Instead, I'm just gonna jump right into the performance section for this verse, and I'm gonna start very slow. Just as I did with the first performance we went through, I'm gonna start at 65 beats per minute and then work my way up to 155. So at 65 beats per minute, here is exercise two, the first verse of Bow Down with the Tuplet Fill, performed for you to play along to right now. Great, so after those three passes, if you're still struggling with it, just jump back to the timestamp on your screen right now and give it some more goes until we move up to the next tempo. The next tempo we're gonna take it up to, 95 beats per minute. Here we go with uh, the second half of verse one from the cover Bow Down in this lesson on tuplet fills performed for you to play along to right now. Coming off 95, we're gonna move right along. The next tempo is gonna be 125 for another three passes for you to play along to. So here we go with that now.
All right, cool. So hopefully you've kept up to speed and you got that down at 125. If you didn't hear the timestamps for 125, 95, and 65, you can jump back and repeat any of those passes and hopefully get it down before we move up to the final tempo. Final tempo we're about to move into, 155, which is the tempo of bow down, the tempo of this verse, and the, uh, the final tempo that we're going to perform here for this lesson on fraction fills for part one. So here we go with that now. Great, so that's been it for part one of episode five on fraction fills. The next section we're gonna go into, part two, the next part that we're gonna take on here is gonna be the exact same thing we just did. The only difference is we're going to, for the first time in any of my lessons on fraction fills, well, of episode two and of this one, for the first time, we're going to have the majority of our strokes inside of the fraction on our feet. It's a very simple concept, but performed at high tempos can get very difficult and really requires a lot of footwork. Now, before we get into this. If you are unfamiliar with scuffs or heel toe, then I do have a lesson in feet, feet episode one. You can check that out. It'll explain scuffs. I'm going to be talking a lot about scuffs in this second part of this video. So, uh, so if you want to check that out and then come back to this video, the link is in the description below. Just as I did in part one, I took you through just the fill itself as well as the sticking of the fill first before we got into adding it into the groove. I'm going to do that once again here for you now. Cool, so as I mentioned, just as I did in the first half, I'm gonna take you through the sticking real quick for this exact same exercise as exercise one, but this will be exercise three, and we're going to reverse the amount of strokes as I already kind of mentioned there. So in exercise one, you saw me perform this. Now here in, uh, in exercise three, we're going to be reversing that. So instead of four on the hands, we're gonna right away do just two on the hands, and then four on the feet. So triple it triple it and then when you put those two halves together you get this grouping and then when you move that around the kitchen you get this that's all it is super basic super simple very effective exercise the reason why I think it's so effective is just because as you increase the tempos it's gonna force you to, uh, to really dial in how you are performing the group of four on the feet so I'm doing it with the heel toe you can do it with slides uh, you can do it with scuffs I'm performing it with a uh, with a scuff heel toe so uh, so at a little bit of a faster tempo again with no click but at a faster tempo it looks something like this so that's what you're going to be playing along with me too at the tempos of 65, 95, 125, and 155 right now here in exercise three on episode five of What the Fill. Here we go. Great, so now that you've seen the fill itself sort of switched on itself, where we changed the amount of strokes from four on hands, two on feet, to two on hands and four on feet, now that you've seen that and you've practiced it, we're gonna put it into that groove that we used for part one of this lesson. Because you already know the groove as well, I'm not gonna have as many passes in these demonstrations. There will just be two instead of three. With all that being said, let's get into it. So, 65 beats per minute, second half of verse one from Bow Down for this lesson on tuplets, where we reverse the fill itself and add Add four strokes on the kick. So here's the performance of that performed for you now.
Coming off that, you guessed it, just as we did with the first half, we're gonna move from 65 beats per minute up to 95 beats per minute. Here is 95 beats per minute performed for you now. The next tempo we'll be moving into is 125. If you found that you need to go back and rehearse these at 95 or 65, timestamps are on the screen for you now to jump back to those, play it over and over as many times as you need, and then jump up to here kind of thing. So with that being said, let's move on to 125 uh, with four strokes on feet and two on hands. In this episode five of What The Fill, here we go. All right, so we've made it. We're coming to the final demonstration for this lesson. We're gonna go to 155 for the same groove throughout the entire lesson. But of course, we have changed the fraction fill at the end simply as an exercise to develop our footwork and to develop our sense of time across our limbs. So here's the final demonstrations at 155. Verse one of Bow Down performed for you in this episode on fraction fills. Here we go. Fantastic. So that's been it for episode five. I really, really hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope that these exercises challenged you and helped broaden your vocabulary on the drum set by applying a very simple concept uh, in a couple different ways to sort of help develop your time and uh, your sense of control around the kit. If you like this video, if this lesson helped you, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're new here, I encourage you to subscribe to be notified when future lessons drop. As well, if you would like to support the channel, you can find my Patreon link and my merch link in the description below. You can check out t-shirts, tanks, hoodies with the graphic that I'm currently wearing. And if you want to hang out with me and tons of other members of the community on Discord, play video games, do whatever, chill every night pretty much, you can uh, you can connect with all of us through my Patreon link. Lastly, if you'd like to connect with me further, you can find my social media pages on the screen for you right now as well as in the description below. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I will see you all soon with something new.